it's your boy G, Honolulu, Hawaii, and I uh, just wanted to uh, make a quick video. I know it's been a while since I made a video, uh, probably about a good month or so, but uh, there's been reason for that. Uh, I've been doing a lot of stuff over the past month. Um, the last video that I worked on, I explained that uh, what the concept of king of distinction was, right? So you have your own journey. It's very distinct to you. Only you have that journey. So because only you are walking on that path of that journey, it's distinct. Kings conquer. They arise to challenges. They, they meet every challenge that comes before them. So with you being a king and you having your own distinct journey, you are a king of distinction. So understand that 2020 has been just a crazy year. A lot of people lost a lot of things. Uh, in the last video, I described what I had lost. Um, there was five main things that I was battling at the time. Um, I lost my home. I lost my two businesses. Um, I had to file for bankruptcy. I was facing a lawsuit. And the current job that I had at the moment, um, I didn't know if I was going to keep it. I, I, didn't know if they were going to cut my hours or if they were just going to eliminate the job altogether. So uh, I'm creating this video so that you could bear witness to the fact that I am conquering my own challenges. Therefore, it will give you faith and trust and belief that you could conquer yours as well. So um, but let me talk about the uh, five things real quick that I was facing last year and give you an update as far as where I'm at right now. Okay, so um, I did file for bankruptcy. Um, the whole process is going to take probably like six months or so. Uh, it was about two months to even prepare myself, get my documents and everything ready, and then as soon as I file, it's going to be an additional four to five months. There was a lot of things that the bankruptcy lawyer had to deal with because I had two businesses and a home. Um, I thought since, you know, if I file, then that would be on my record after the discharge. But come to find out, the minute you file, it's going to be on your record. So, like the very second. Um, I'm going to be moving from this place that I'm at right now to another place. And I really thought that that bankruptcy would be, um, you know, a hurdle uh, getting to the new place. Uh, but I was 100% honest with my situation, I went to the property manager and just said, hey, listen, this is what I'm dealing with right now. And so they made an exception for me. And so I get to move into my new place this coming month, uh, probably within another week or so. And so, yeah, the when you think that bankruptcy is going to, you know, be a challenge for you, sometimes with a lot of things, it's really not. And uh, I always think of bankruptcy as a chess move, not exactly a checkmate. So uh, just keep that in mind if ever you are thinking about bankruptcy. The second thing I was uh, discussing in my last video was the two businesses I had. I had to shut down both of the business, the locations that uh, I was at. Um, I still was able to keep one business, not the location, but just the business itself, and um, which is the computer repair business. So I still sell and repair computers on the side. But uh, for 2021, I ended up starting another business, completely new, completely different industry. I got into the cleaning business. So um, I've been cleaning homes. And um, eventually, I do want to start uh, getting into commercial cleaning as well. So um, maybe I'll get started on that uh, maybe later this month or next month. But um, Everything's going good with that. The business is slowly growing and, um, you know, we're just going to keep going with that. And, you know, hopefully uh, I'll make enough money to uh, by the time I get to the summer, I could, you know, make a little more um, power moves. Uh, but I'll discuss that a little later. Um, but uh, let's see here. This, the next thing I was I was talking about was my lawsuit. So. Uh, they ended up dropping the lawsuit simply because I just don't have that business anymore. So it would have been pointless for them. They would have lost a lot of money just trying to proceed with the lawsuit. So they ended up dropping it. 
Uh, so uh, then I was speaking on my current job, okay? So the job that I was doing security was at night. It was full-time hours. At the time, 2020, I didn't know whether or not I was going to keep that job. Um, I didn't know if they were going to cut my hours or just completely eliminate the job. Well, I found out that um, they just relocated me to uh, another place. And so I got to keep my full-time hours. They did give me a pay cut. The place that I was at, um, it commanded a little more of a pay rate. Uh, the place that I'm at now doesn't. So they cut my pay just a little bit, but I am very blessed and very fortunate that I get to just keep my full-time hours. So, um, and in terms of losing my home, uh, as you know, I was in California before I came to Hawaii. Um, I gave up my home just to purchase the two businesses. And so the goal right now is not to focus so much on home ownership. Again, I do want to purchase a home, but with the bankruptcy on my record, it's going to be at least two years before I can even get an FHA loan to purchase a home. It's going to be four years to, to you know, use a conventional loan in order to purchase a home. So right now, it's just, um, I'm just focusing on growth and just trying to you know, get financially stable again, and then maybe within another couple of years, I'll be able to purchase a home. Who knows? But, um, but yeah. So those are the things that I kind of went through, and as you can see, I'm just chipping away at the wall that keeps me from success and prosperity. So I'm just ridding myself of that victim mentality and just slowly digging myself out of the hole that I created for myself, and it will give you proof to let you know that you can actually conquer the same challenges. So this is your boy G. I just want to let you know that is happening. And I will uh, talk to you guys later. Aloha.